Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching, so keep that in mind. Um, this reading is going to focus on your person, what are their current energies, how they feel about the connection, and what they wish they could tell you if they had the chance. All right, Pisces, let's get into it. Spirits, angels, guys. What are the current energies of the person that Pisces is in a connection with? Current energies, please, spirit, for the person that Pisces is in a connection with. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it, especially those of you who take the time out of your day to leave me such nice, supportive comments. I really appreciate it. They've been a real big help to me. So special thank you to those of you who do that. All right, current energies of the person Pisces is thinking about. Okay, we got Treasure Island. Oh, we got four. Go the distance. Treasure Island, go the distance. No place like home. And truth be told. Very interesting. Someone's realizing their true home. Someone is going to great um, going to great lengths, I think that's the phrase, to go after their wish fulfillment, something that they value here. See how this cheetah is kind of rushing towards this treasure chest here? There's, they're moving towards their goal, is what I'm seeing. It's like there was a realization someone actually was opened their heart or opened their mind to a specific truth or finally opened their eyes about something here. Um, for some of you, this person that you're dealing with misses you a lot or thinks of you fondly. Um, I'm getting someone looking at the past with no place like home, um, somewhere where they've already been and it's like they're not really there. So they're really thinking about it, missing it. I feel like they see your relationship or your connection as something to be protected or valued or something special. I'm just getting that energy that this is not, you're just not, you're not just anyone to them. So let's get more information. Um, how does this person view you or this connection, Pisces? Spirit, how does this person view Pisces or this connection? What more information can we get regarding this person's feelings or intentions towards Pisces, please? For Pisces, spirit. Wow, okay. What else can we get? Person's intentions or feelings. Okay. Too many. This person's intentions or feelings towards Pisces, please. Someone's watching you. I feel like this person's also seeing things in a new perspective here. Ooh, bottom of the deck, swan. I love that energy. So with the frog, we're getting cleansing, renewal, healing. This person could be healing from a situation or feeling like they need to heal the connection, um, wanting to renew the connection as well. With Hawk, I'm getting the sense someone's been kind of watching you um, seeing things from a different perspective the hawk is also um i believe it carries a special message let me double check to make sure i didn't just lie to you <laughs> um the messenger of divinity yeah so um the hawk can see everything the small details which i'm getting here with the mouse this person is really focused on this um, almost a little too much, like an anxious energy I'm getting with the mouse. 
Um, it is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. So it's almost like this person has been spiritually guided to you or has had a realization um, from spirit or spirit has been kind of tugging at their heart, um, kind of helping them open this window here. And notice that there's a bird here as well. It's an owl, but still I'm getting the same energy of a message. Something arriving to this person. So with the mouse, I'm getting again, I'm getting that anxious energy of someone really focusing on, like nervously focusing on the details of this. I don't know exactly what they're focused on yet because we're going to get into it but it's almost like they're they're laser focused on small details about something could be that they're you know for example this is somebody who's um, replaying conversations you've had over and over and over again almost nitpicking certain things what was said what wasn't said um things like that so let's get some more insight let's see what would this person tell you pisces if they had the chance Spirit, give us some more insight into this person that Pisces is connecting with. What else do we need to know for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have regarding this person's thoughts or feelings about this connection? Pisces, please. Thoughts or feelings? Whoa. Okay, finances are a factor. I feel like we're all going through that a little bit right now with what's going on. I also got, I have always loved you. I have always loved you. I get the sense you're not, you're, there's distance between you. Emotional distance, physical distance, there's distance here. I'm also getting the sense that this person is maybe anxious about what they can't provide, what they can't do for you um, because of finances. Maybe that's causing a delay here in your connection. Um, what else? Thank you. A transformation is taking place. Yes, I am getting that that sense. I, and again, I feel like it's been um, spiritually um, guided bottom of the deck I'm ready to open up so I'm getting here I mean and, and I'm getting a few messages here so I'll try not to not to um, confuse you remember guys the roles can be reversed so I could be talking about you or the person you are in a connection with um, and time is fluid so this situation could have already happened be currently happened happening or happen in the near future so keep that in mind as well but what i'm getting here with i have always loved you and um this hawk it's almost like this person is realizing that you were the one all along no place like home right like you you are their home and it's like they they can't stop thinking about this so let's see, what other messages can we get about your connection? Spirit, any other messages for Pisces regarding this connection? What are the mutual energies here? What's going on in this connection, Spirit? For Pisces. All right, let's get into it, Pisces. What is going on here? <laughs> Thank you. King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, funny. That could be the finance part of it. Knight of Swords reversed, again, with that delay. Remember how I mentioned delay, um, possibly because of this these finances? We'll see. I'm going to clarify all of these, but that's just what, my, what I initially see. Eight of Swords, the yeah, anxious energy I've been talking about. Someone's like really in their head about this with the Eight of Swords. 
High Priestess. Someone, um, again, I'm getting the sense of there's no communication at this point or very little communication. Also, like there's something that has just not been said, whether in the past or with, or now. What else for this connection spirit between Pisces and this person? Four of Pentacles, yeah. Someone here is holding on to something they value. They're very protective of it. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups reversed. Whew. I'm getting a few things with the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, this could be someone who is um, heartbroken. It could be someone who manipulates with words, kind of almost like they're the sweet talker of the deck when they revert the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, they know just what to say to get what they want, right? This person could have done this in the past or, you know, is doing this now. Who knows? Um, this person could have, you know, when I, what I'm also getting from a transformation is taking place is, is this person has grown. I feel like this person has been humbled. King of Pentacles reversed here. This is someone that's also not very good with finances or is very stubborn, um, rigid. Um, this is also someone who takes advantage of situations as well when they're reversed. But really, I'm getting finances, fin a financial situation for this person. They're not secure or stable right now is what I'm getting. With the Knight of Swords reversed, this energy, um, this can be very erratic energy. This is someone who can speak very harshly or or they, they're delivering a message, but they don't know how to communicate it in the best way with the Knight of Swords reversed. This could also be a delay here. Someone um, unable to move forward um, towards what they want. And they're really in their head about this. So let's clarify Pisces. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Pisces, please. All right, Pisces. Let's start with this King of Pentacles reversed. Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Pentacles reversed for Pisces, please? King of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles. Juggling. This is someone weighing their options as well. What else for this King of Pentacles reverse? Death reversed. Okay. Someone here is refusing to end something or unable to end something here. And then we have the King of Cups upright. So um, this could be somebody that is, their emotions are messing with them. They could also just be really intuitive at this time. I feel like this person knows they have to end something or change something in their life. But right now there's like, um, a back and forth mentally like should I shouldn't I well if I do that then this will happen and they're kind of going back and forth back and forth um, but I feel like this person is trying see how this person's kind of like meditating or just really thinking deeply here it's like this person's trying to think things through in a mature way or trying to to be Zen about this I don't know if it's working <laughs> But I, I see them trying. This person could also um, just have a lot of emotions wrapped up in this decision. Tell me about this Knight of Swords reversed. Tell me about the Knight of Swords reversed for Pisces, please. Ooh, the wheel reversed. 
there has definitely been a delay here. Timing is not on this person's side. Um, this person, is, they almost feel like they're going against the current or going against, you know, it's like against all odds. They're trying to make something happen here. Let me move these so you can actually see. Um, it's causing delays, interruptions here. This wheel reversed. Now, the Wheel of Fortune doesn't mean that it's never going to happen or this person will never have um, success or never get what they want, but that it's going to be delayed. Tell me more about this Knight of... Okay. You got the Five of Wands reversed. Someone's coming out of this this negative energy this um because the five of wands upright is usually like arguments and things like that um this could be someone that's trying to overcome this feeling of not getting anywhere they could also be you know it's almost like where if they had been influenced by a particular group of people um they might have listened to that group of people in the past they, their opinions held a lot of weight for this person or they they were swayed by these people's opinions or comments but i feel like this person's kind of over that tell me more about this knight of swords reverse it's like they see they see the goal right and there's like nothing getting in this person's way other than finances clearly Page of Swords, again with this person watching you. They could also be doing research. Um, they could also be wanting to have um, like a like a, one of those, um, this is like the, like, um, oh, I can't speak today. Wanting to have a serious conversation as well. A serious message. Um, it's usually a difficult message sometimes. Um, or it can be a difficult message sometimes. I feel like this person, this, this is what they want to do. They want to communicate. They're watching you. They're doing, um, they're thinking about things deeply in a logical way. Trying not to let their emotions get the best of them. Trying to make a wise decision here. Um, but I think they're caught up in what's not working for them. Ace of Wands reversed. See, like they cannot get this moving. There's something keeping them stuck. They feel stuck and it's frustrating them. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles reversed. That makes sense. Um, Page of Pentacles reversed. This, this could also be someone who is unprepared, lazy, <laughs> non -com like they just... They, they can't really finish what they start kind of energy. Um, it could also be, again, a delay in a message. Wanting to make an offer of stability, unable to. This person might not have anything to offer at this point and it's stressing them out. Tell me more about this Eight of, well, that's way too many. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords spirit. Try not to mess with my cards, but it's hard. Okay, I got three more. I keep getting a ton of cards, so I'm just gonna take them. So the tower reverse, this could be someone trying to avoid a tower moment, trying to um, not have their whole foundation rocked. <laughs> um, this could also be someone who luckily escapes from a tower moment, but I don't see that happening for this person. I feel like they're trying not to make things worse is the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, see, look at this. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is what this person's thinking about. You know, I, I, I want a new beginning. I want to clear the air. I want to cut out anything that doesn't serve me. I want to go after what I want. And, you know, in the midst of that, they're like trying to not have their world be turned upside down. You know, they can't really make an offer here or send a message or communicate or study or improve themselves. Like they can't do any of that possibly with what's going on right now. And this is all this person is thinking about. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups upright. So 
you know, that's what I feel is in this person's heart space coming to you, Pisces, and communicating honestly. And, you know, there's a lot of emotion here. Tell me about the High Priestess. I feel like there's a transformation happening for this person, though. I think it has to do with, with this High Priestess energy. We got the Sun. Two of Swords. And four of pentacles again. It's almost like their intuition is telling them they have to make a decision towards what what they find to be their happiness. This right here, this sun and four of pentacles is this treasure island card for me. Happiness. Wanting to hold on to what you find valuable. What is your treasure, right? But again, there's that back and forth with the two of swords. Feeling stuck. I think they're trying to look within to figure out a way out of this to transform their situation. Seven of Pentacles reversed. This person could also be looking at the past and what a waste of time. A lot of their, their decisions, it's like a lot of their decisions in the past caused them to waste precious time. And now there's no going back. Now they have to deal with what where they are now in this present moment. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, Doubt, regret. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. For Pisces. Yeah, look at this. Six of Cups reversed. This is someone stuck in the past. Someone unable to let go of the past. What did I say about no place like home? You know, it's like this person... It's like a, it's like this it's, it's like a movie reel playing over over in their mind. Tell me more for this four of pentacles. King of pentacles reversed again. This person could have possibly been just focused on their financial well-being and they let everything else fall to the wayside and it's caused them something very important. It's almost like they cared more about appearances, about materialistic things, possibly, possibly just focused on making money, making money. And, you know, now looking back, it's like all they want to do is go back to the past and change it. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles reverse for Pisces, please. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Again, with the feeling insecure, not stable. This is someone who's dependent or feeling like they have to depend on others. This could also be someone who's not single. I'm not getting that energy, though. For some of you, it can be. This person's with someone else, but I'm not getting third-party energy a lot in this reading. Someone here has lost their confidence. Their self-esteem has taken a hit. Like I said, it's it's humbled them. I have the seven of wands upright. Um, again, I'm getting this the feeling of someone trying to be calm and collected in this situation. Um, trying not to despair. This is someone who again is trying to figure out what matters to them and doesn't care what anybody else thinks what the opposition might say at this point they, they don't care they're like in this bubble where they can't hear others opinions or criticisms right and i feel like you know i have always loved you um this person and you know they want to heal and renew a situation here i feel like this person is realizing now what they that that they what what they truly want they can't have at this time and i don't think this person is used to that possibly um but that's just what i see i see a lot of delays i see bad timing bad luck bad fortune for this person um just not uh, you know a lot of things that are in their way I also feel, um, you know, finances could be a factor, whether it's somebody that doesn't feel like they're worthy enough, someone that feels like they have a long way to go before they can actually 
present themselves to you, um, that could also be the case. Otherwise, I'll leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you so much um, for um, your comments so far and your subscribes so far. I really appreciate it. Um, check out my Instagram if you'd like, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.